What's up everybody? Thanks for tuning in and watching my stuff, especially all you new subscribers and all you OG subscribers. I really appreciate all you guys. Today, kind of debating on what I should do today. I don't know. Um, I was going to work on this, but I'm kind of debating on working on my car. But before we get into all that, let's check out all my new parts I just got in the mail this week. Uh, let's see. I've got me some uh, G-Force... Uh, strap or harnesses for the buggy there i got those in uh i got parts for my red car here i got a new alternator bracket i got the whole shebang there and i got ignition wire separators and i got wire line get rid of that ugly red i got some cv performance parts i got some intake manifolds that have been ported matched to match this, the cylinder heads i'm going to get just got through talking to them actually i was on the phone with them earlier today they uh, should have my cylinder heads in this week. Into this, into next week, part of maybe the beginning of the week after. I don't know. But I got, uh, I went ahead and got some new breathers. Uh, they were cheap. They went on, they're on a kit you can get in the install kit. And I got a uh, linkage bar kit for the carburetor, for the dual carburetors and all that, and some outerwear bags. I got those as well. So I got all that, all this in the mail this week. So hopefully. Trying to debate on what I should work on first. Do I want to work on my red car and get that thing back going? Because I hate having both things torn apart, broke down. Or do I want to start on this, put the seats in, get those put in? So I'm kind of in a debation mode here. I think I might flip a quarter. I think I have one. Yeah. Well, yeah, got a quarter. All right. Heads will be the coupe. Tails will be the buggy. Let's see. Tails it is. Buggy time. Well, as of course, I'm not really getting as much done as I hoped. Um, the backhoe guy came to dig the pool. We are sitting there talking about what he wanted to do and marking the pool out, going over everything, make sure my dad and stepmom understand everything and where the pool's going to be, and they're all happy with it. That took a little while. I got all that figured out. And I got one seat. It's not all the way in there yet. Um, run into a little problem. Let me go around here and show you. <clears throat> I'm just going to weld these in place, the seats in place, because I'll be mainly the one driving it anyway. But see how far back the seat is with the plate? It's not really on top of the beam. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut these to the length right here and weld them to this front beam right here. and That way the seat will be half on the beam, half on this tube, and half on, and then sitting on top of this tube. So I'll get it. I think I might do two or three of those down the, down that. And I got my harnesses are all ready to mount in. That there's where your mount your the harness mount is, the bolt or whatever. So I got everything pretty much ready to go. I just got to get that made and get this welded in place. And the seats will be done, and I can do the other seat. And I already got the cushion in behind this one. Got the cover over it. The cover needs to naturally sit in in the heat or whatever and form itself because it's naturally big right now. So, but I got that done. I think I'm going to take a break on this for now because uh, I started pouring down rain and I don't like running the chop saw in here because it makes a freaking mess. So, even worse than I already do. So, I think I, uh, dang, it poured down rain for a minute there. So, all of a sudden, it just started pouring down rain. I wish I was a weather man. I can get stuff wrong all the time and still have a job. But um, I think what I'm going to do now is I'm going to move on to my red car, start putting the alternator bracket on that. So, let's go do that. Well, first things first, what we're going to do on this turd is I'm going to swap out the alternator bracket. Well, I'll move the alternator somewhere right in here and get rid of it being all the way over there anyway. I hated that look anyway. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to disconnect the battery, get the power off the car. Then I'll unhook the alternator. I'm going to take the alternator off, which is really easy. Um, just a GM one wire. I just have to take that one wire off the back and take off this one bolt right here and undo the belt and we'll slide the alternator off. Well, I got the brackets and the alternator all off. Everything's up out of the way. That's all unbolted. And I just got through unbolting the bracket. But I'll tell you one thing. I'm not, I'm not even trying to sell these. I'm not even affiliated with this company or nothing. What was these things? The Stage 8 or whatever header locking system here really does work. I will say that. And you just slide them in just like so. If I can get it to go. Slide it in just like that. It'll stay. 
There's a little clip that goes on the back side of it. Let's see if I can get closer to it. You slide it in just like that, and there's a little clip that goes on the back side of it right here. This little notch, and it holds it in place, and eventually that'll probably turn itself a little bit loose. And But it won't come back off. I'd like to never get it back off. Got the main bracket mounted. Just down real quick. Got the main bracket mounted. Just had the two holes on the top, on the front of the cylinder head where it mounted. I loctited them in with some blue Loctite. So next is going to be hooking in that, uh, putting the alternator in and that little hook, goofy hook thing. And that's really about it for today. I won't be able to get a belt today. I'll take, have to get a measurement. So that's what I'm going to be doing next. Well, I finally got my alternator bracket on. That was the biggest pain in the dick to do. I spent almost 45 minutes trying to get this alternator to fit on here. I do need to go get a shorter belt. My belt's naturally too long, so I'm gonna have to do that. I figured that, I knew that was gonna happen anyway. I need to lengthen my, my one wire to it, which I can do that easy. I didn't get nothing done today. That's typical in my life. I got nothing done. I've had phone call after phone call. I had the backhoe guy. I had uh, my some of my family come by and hang out, want to talk, and blah, blah, blah. So I got nothing done. Oh, well, at least I got to see some people, and I picked up some more business. Maybe a guy wants me to work on a 54 Ford truck of his. And the other bright side is it quit raining. Well, almost. It's still lightly sprinkling, but it's about done. Cooled off like 20 degrees since it started raining, so... But that's it for today. What a cluster today was. I guess I will see you guys here in just a second. We'll start on tomorrow. Tomorrow, for me, a second for you guys. Uh, I'm going to get a, I'll set some goals real quick. Cause I haven't really filmed much. I've been aggravated with every dang thing. Nothing's going my way as normal. But uh, I'm going to get the, at least one seat done. I'm going to try to get at least one seat done, harness, everything done. I'm going to do this one tomorrow. And I want to get the belt put on that and get the alternator, everything done with that. And then I'm going to start wire looming it. I didn't show you guys this, I don't think, but I got some more wire loom. It's cheap. This is the Taylor brand. Got that, and I got some other little odds and ends I want to do to this. But that's it for today. I will see you guys here in a second. Hey, welcome back, day two. Today's already starting out to be a little bit of a cluster. Um, they're already out there digging. Let's see. As you can see, not going to bother them too much. But they're out there digging and are running into problems already. That's generally how it goes. But I've been working on this thing this morning. Um, got the alternator bracket done, or it's put on, and I got my uh, new belt put on. I don't know, the jury's still out on this alternator bracket. I'm not really sold on it yet. It's kind of a pain in the butt to get put on there, and it fought me the whole way. And I don't know, I'm not, I'm just not, I don't know. We'll see. That's all you can do is try, right? So next, I already took out all some of the wiring loom. I'm going to put all new wire loom on all that and all that over there. That's, that's what I'm getting ready to do here in a few minutes. But I've been I pushed the buggy out and I've been cleaning up down here, organizing tools. I have such a mess. I'm going to get this pile of tools and that out of the way and just get some of this crap cleaned up. This place is such a mess. I'm tired of it. So that's what I'm going to do first. It's time to do an update. Uh, it's been crazy since the last time I I, I was I did a video update. Um, they're out back digging in the back, back here for the pool. They hit a water line, the, the main water line right on the other side of that wall right there. They hit that. It is not where it was supposed to be in the markings, totally way off. They hit a drainage line for the guttering and everything, busted that all to pieces, not where they marked it. Awesome stuff. But let's see, well, on this thing, I, um, I got some of the wire loom done. I got over there pretty much done. Over there, I got to tidy up a couple things, choke the choke and the coolant temp and then it'll be done then i just got to put this piece in right through here and right here is where i'm going to stop it for today on this because i forgot these wires now i remember what this was about these wires are too long i want to cut these and shorten them so that it'll all be just one straight shot and it won't be some a big wad of crap i i meant to do that years ago and never did it so i'm going to do it now i'm going to get it over with because if i don't do it now it'll never get done so i'm going to stop on this for today though I'm pretty much, I'm not even full with that today. And we're going to go back to this thing because I'm running out of time. It is uh, 4 o'clock. I've been out there dealing with that crap out back for, for a while. Having to fix this and that. But 
Now we're going to work on this thing. My goal is today is to get this seat put in and get it mounted and welded in place and the harness put in and everything so I, I can have at least one done. That is my goal and I'm going to apologize for this video. It has been all over the place. It's, you know how it goes with construction, I guess. Nothing ever happens the way it's supposed to. So I'm going to get started with that. Update time. What's update time? I got, um... These two welded in, that's where my plate's gonna sit over top. Uh, and then I'll weld it across the top of that naturally and across the top of that and halfway across the top of this bar. I just did that for a little bit of reinforcement right there. Cause it's kind of flimsy looking, but not really, but I don't know, I'm just being overly cautious, I guess. And the plate doesn't really come all the way to the top of this tube anyway. So it's kind of like right here where this grind mark is where I'm gonna weld. So got it all mapped out. Where it's gonna seat will sit in here. We'll get that done, but I'm going to show you guys the pool. The guys just left. I was sitting there talking to him for a minute. It's going to be a cluster. Um, let's see. We're going to have to have a couple of retaining walls. This is uh, the backyard now, as it is today. Um, we have a retaining wall naturally all the way down through here. <clears throat> this is where we had a mix up earlier. This is this pipe right here is our main water line going in this house. It was supposed to be three foot over closer to that deck, underneath that deck, and apparently not. It was right here. So whoever marked that before and the whatever was totally wrong as normal. But there's gonna be a retaining wall, taller than me. That dude is tall as crap. It's gonna be one heck of a retaining wall. But they're putting one in all the way down through here. We gotta put a retaining wall in before they dig and put the uh, pull in right in here because uh, well, the wall, it wants to come in naturally because we've had so much rain here. So we got to fix that, but they got it all ready to go. Concrete truck can't come out here for a couple days. They were backed up because of the weather. So we've been having anything but rain. They got everything in today. All the two, all the PVC pipe, the stairs, sand. I mean, everything, the walls and the side, everything down to the uh, duct tape. So... It's all here, pump, everything. Cool. So, that's the latest update on this, but we can't um, really do anything because of the gonna be retaining wall here. That's gonna be a big dude right there too. But, oh well. You gotta do what you gotta do. That's an update, so I wanna go back and get started working some more. I'm running out of time. Well, I got one seat done. It's all mounted in there. All good to go. Harnesses are hooked up. I just gotta, I painted the bolts for these that'll mount right there. So, got that done. Got the rear harness bar put in, or the rear, or the top shoulder straps, I mean. Got all that put in. I'm tired. I had to go help my neighbor. Uh, my friend Jessica, her car wouldn't start. I had to go fix that today. So, been going at it pretty hard there for a little bit. Haven't really recorded anything. So I'm just trying to get things done. I get in those modes where I just, I need to get stuff done so apologize for the video it's probably all over the place i don't even know so but i'll catch y'all in the next one i appreciate all you new subscribers and like i've said if you have a dream a goal an ambition or whatever it is get out there and do it if you can afford it quit sitting around watching other people live their dreams like me get out there and do it